Masha and Dasha. This is a great lesson from history that teaches us a lot about our health. And they have a very interesting story. And so let's dive in to see what we can learn and how that applies to our health today so we can not only be better now, but also for our health moving forward. So Masha and Dasha. They were born back in 1950 in Soviet Russia. And it's actually, this story does have some tragedy in it because what happened when they were born is their mom came in and she thought she was gonna be having a boy or a girl, she didn't really know. And so they walked into the, the hospital and then she proceeded to give birth to what turned out to be twins. But the tragedy is, is these twins were actually taken from their mother at birth and they told the mother that her mutant daughter died upon birth. And so what happened with Masha and Dasha is in Soviet Russia at the time, medical researchers took her, took them, and then they studied them for much of their young adult or young kind of young life into young adulthood. They eventually um, were given freedom and they lived a pretty happy life actually. Uh, and they're a really cool story. I recommend you look into them. But what can we learn from Masha and Dasha? Well, like I said, they're conjoined twins. And so they each had a head, but then they each had their own spine. And then they had a shared pelvis and they each had one leg and they had their own arms. Actually, this is a picture of them right here. And so this is a picture when they were older and they lived to 53, they actually died in 2003, but this is them when they were young back in 66. But you can see their x-ray here. So head, head, spine, spine, shared pelvis, and each had one leg. Pretty interesting, isn't it? And why, why, is, this important? why is this important to us now? Well, it kind of shows where health really comes from in our bodies. Because what they did share, however, was they shared a circulatory system. They had the same blood pumping through both of their bodies and they're conjoined twins. And so they're exposed to all the exact same things. They ate the same food, they lived in the same environment, they got exposed to the same viruses and same bacteria and same germs in general. So what makes this interesting is there is many documented times when one of them would get sick and the other wouldn't. Isn't that interesting? One would get a cold or a flu and the other one would remain healthy. How is that possible? They're exposed to the same virus, the same bacteria. So every time we're exposed to these things and we share the same blood, we should probably get sick, right? That's not actually true because there's something in our bodies where health really comes from and it's how it coordinates our body and if it's able to keep our body strong and coordinated and powerful, we'll be able to fight off almost all forms of disease. And so what happens here? Well, we have 100% of our life in our brain, and then that life is communicated down through our spinal cord and out through the nerves into our body. And it controls everything. It controls our heart, our lungs, our immune system, which is what we're going to be talking about today. And so they had separate brains and spines and separate immune systems with the same blood. And so what can dampen this control? What can dampen this system? Well, in our practice, we see this all the time. They're called subluxations. And so we can get a subluxation in their spine through distress or a fall or a variety of different means. But what happens is if they get a subluxation in their spine, it kind of disconnects the brain and the body. And then so 100% of the life that's in the brain can't get through to the body. And then the body can't communicate back to the brain. And so the body can't tell the brain there's a problem and the brain can't tell the body how to fix said problem. But if we have full life force going in both directions, we have 100% of our life flowing into our body and giving us 100% power throughout our whole body. And so if we're exposed to a germ and we're running on 100% power, we're most likely going to be able to mount a strong immune response to that quickly and effectively and powerfully, and we're going to be able to stay healthy. However, if we are operating 
at a 60 or 50 percent of what we could be doing and the body can't respond and tell the brain what's going on and the brain can't tell the body what to do we now have what's called weakened tissue so what happens if if you see a dead bird on the ground with maggots crawling over it do you think what happened there was maggots jumped from the ground and grabbed the bird and pulled it ground and killed the bird no the maggots were opportunistic creatures disease in general is very optimistic it's looking for weakened tissue and so if we have strong tissue and strong bodies we're going to be able to avoid much disease and stay healthy during a variety of situations if we have weakened tissue what we become what's called a hospital host for disease whether that is a virus a bacteria or even things like cancer and heart disease all of these things occur in weakened tissues and one of the most common causes of weakened tissue is if that tissue isn't getting that full power from the brain to the body. And so what we do in our office is we bring people in and we check this neurospinal system and we make sure it's communicating and operating at 100%. And if that's the case, they have a very high likelihood of staying healthy in a variety of things. A lot of our patients tell us, we have been caring for patients for years now, We've in this office, we've delivered over 25,000 adjustments already, and we're just over five years in practice, and we've already cared for well over 1,400 people. And so we're seeing this all the time. When people get regular chiropractic adjustments, their body stays strong, and they get sick way less often, if at all. And when they do, they tend to bounce back much better. And so that's what I'm encouraging you to do, to make sure you have 100% of your life flowing from your brain to your body and back and forth, and so that we can learn this lesson from history and grow and become stronger for it. So this is where health truly comes from, and I look forward to serving you in the office in the future. Bye for now.